Mr. Weaver, let's, let's take a, let's, let's go to the, the cabin and see what's happened. Company, the left, hey! So ladies and gentlemen, we are going to follow the relief column. We're going to go with them. It's going to... The only difference here, the only thing that you're not seeing is real blood, and the cabin would be on fire probably by now. What would have happened? Native war party would strike without warning. I see a beam. We're coming. We're coming. Who's coming? We're all coming. 300 are coming from Detroit to take care of you rabble. 300 Indians and Rangers, they're all coming for you. They're going to make you pay. They're going to take your children. They're going to take your stuff. They're all going to die. They're all going to die. Let's take him up. Let's take him to the fort. <laughs> the king's gonna make you pay for all this! He's gonna make you pay! I'll show you hard! Get off my wife! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! No good rubble rabble! Y'all gonna pay! We're coming! We're coming to take you all! Chop his head off! Had to be heads, didn't it? Couldn't have been more. I know. Rabble rousing in our county. Burning our farms. I'm doing the king's work. Uh, you guys no are rebels. Sedition. There is no king in this valley. Continental Congress and General Washington is the only rule king. King still in the land. Give what up now. Give up now. The king will give you pardon. <laughs> I guarantee he will give you pardon. What king? King George. <laughs> All the soup true king. Tyrant. That was a tyrant too. Ignorant servant of a pig like king. Okay. Get up there. Come on. Get up there. Get his feet up there. Alright, 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 hold. Alright, hold. Only mayor comes to Katie. They're on their way. They're on their way. They're coming. It's alright. No, I have to go crazy about this. Let's go. What happened to the 300? Now it's only 30? 30, it's no matter. You can do whatever, whatever. They're coming. Must be the king's man. <laughs> now, Hang on. Put him back in the storehouse. Fine. So after being quiet with the news, S spills the bean. As if most of these men and yours have been friends for most of their lives, I have for you an offer from Major Butler to give up this fort and return to your safety of your home. Sir, date at this instant. Capitulation made and completed between Major John Butler on behalf of His Majesty George III and Captain Studi of Pennsylvania. One, that the inhabitants of this settlement lay down their arms, ammunition, both in the fort and private, and these garrisons be demolished. That the inhabitants are to occupy their farms peaceably, and the lives of these inhabitants shall be preserved entire and unhurt. Three, that the continental stores herein be delivered up. Four, that Major Butler will use his utmost influence so that the private property of these inhabitants shall be preserved entire unto them. That all prisoners be delivered up, and that John Hess, now in your possession, be delivered up also. That the property taken from the people called Tories 
goes up the river and in the next valley to the north be made good. And they are to remain in peaceable possession of their farms, unmolested in free trade in and throughout this colony as far as lies my power. That the inhabitants that Captain Studi now capitulates for do not again take up arms during this present conflict. And lastly, Major Butler promises to the best of his intent that the lives of the men and women and children shall be preserved and likewise not insulted either by the natives nor the rangers. It is signed by John Butler. Sir. Sir, I have the same speech for you. Your sons of liberty, sons of violence, have done the same for us. The farm was burned. Which is why we here. This so, man's farm. And so was mine. I slaughtered my animals, abused my family. I see that you maybe 20 men here. We have a garrison of 150 men. Your eyes could see beyond the hill, sir. 300 natives under prayer are on the way here. Shawnee, Cherokee, Haudenosaunee. On the way. Three hundred devils like yourself. Your promise, sir, we lay this on you. Their lives and well-being are on your shoulders. Give them up, sir, I beg you. No more violence. Now the men begin to argue. They're trying to make their way safely to the fort. Or I can no longer guarantee their safety. They'll be turned over to the natives, sir. Captain Studi wants to exchange that has, uh, has for all of I recognize that. the female prisoners. But Captain Chase is not. He wants a one on one exchange. So, what will it be? Your fort? Your women? All three for him. All three for him and your fort. Give it up, sir. You Butler and Grant. Butler and Grant have 300 natives. I cannot assure you that we save you these people.
happens to Rebels! Oh! 